Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another garden project. So if you caught the last video, mom and I put together this arch for her garden a couple days ago when it was raining on the porch. It actually was pretty easy, but it took about an hour, maybe okay. two hours. The video edited down was about an hour. So it took a while. It wasn't hard. I'll leave a link to that video, but it definitely took a minute, but it's together now. A lot of pieces. Lots of pieces. And we are going to be planting this Peggy Martin climbing rose. Mom lives one block from downtown. So whenever we film here, the cars are just so loud, but we're going to be planting this Peggy Martin climbing rose on this side. The sun comes from this direction. So we want this rose to be in the sun so that it grows up and over. Now the Peggy Martin climbing rose, say its full name, is from New Orleans. Yeah. Mom told you all about it in the arbor, but she'll tell you again. Talk loud. Mom's very soft spoken. Oh yeah, well, right. <laughs> all right. So Peggy Martin had this rose uh, during Hurricane Katrina, and when she came back to her house, it was the only thing in her yard. I believe maybe one other thing, but it was it, there was only two things that survived, and it, it was under twenty feet of salt water, and it survived. So they came into cuttings of it and they have been selling it all over Louisiana. Uh, my mom is from New Orleans. Yes. So we got it kind of in uh, honor of her. And we're going to plant it. It has pretty pink clusters of flowers and it's very prolific. Uh, it should cover this arch. Cover this arch. Uh, so it says it grows up to 15 feet tall and wide. I put some pictures in the arbor video. I'll put the same pictures here from this blog post we found. I wish I remembered the name, but I'll put it on the screen. Um, but hers, one plant goes up and all the way over. And she even says in that blog post that it gets a little out of control. She's always pruning it back to keep it in check. So this, this rose may end up being too much for us. But um, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. Mom wants it to cover the entire arbor, um, and I think that it will do that. So we're going to plant this on the arbor, and then we're going to pop over to my house. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. We're not sure. We're going to see Thor, Love, and Thunder tonight, so that's important. Oh, yeah. Very important. Um, but we're going to plant mine on a chain link fence. And so we will be able to show you updates of wolf roses over the summer and next summer um, as they grow and how they compare to covering the arbor versus covering a fence because I'm using mine more as a, a screen. I want it to block the ugliness of that part of my backyard, whereas mom is using hers more as a really pretty focal point. Right. Um, but what you were saying was that they're not they're not big roses like you would think of, like the David Austin roses. These are small, twins, like almost button-sized roses. But they, when they do bloom, they bloom a lot. They bloom in clusters, and they smell really great too. So I'm really looking forward to having this nice little sweet sitting area over here on this side of my yard. In the shade. In the shade. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to dig a spot for it. We'll probably put some rose tone in the hole um, to help it grow. We'll water it in. And then right now it has a little teepee. So I don't know about how that works. Mom, do we take the teepee off and yeah. start to we'll take it off and we'll kind of weave it in there. Kind of guide it up the trellis. So I'll bring you in close for that so you can see how mom does it. I've never done that before. I've never planted a climbing rose. So this will be a learning experience for me. And I don't think you've done a lot of climbers in your life. And I have some gardener's tape. That'll you may help. just put it up to it and kind of tie it loosely. And as it starts to grow, it will, I mean, you can see, we just placed it here a couple days ago and it's already trying to come through. And as it grows, it will come around. Now, she does have one climbing rose on her arbor in the back. But that one you cut back every year. It's a different kind of climber. I don't think you're supposed to cut this one back. This one you let grow. So we'll see. You know what zones it is? 
Um, says it is. Full sun, climbing to 15 feet, spring into fall, zones 5 through 11. So this should be the perfect spot for it, and hopefully we will have beautiful pink blooms all the way over. We're heavy on the pink right now. We're heavy on the pink right now. I think you're going to see a video very soon that's like planting yellow flowers because we've got two or three flats of yellow flowers down there. Palm flowers, daylilies, lantana to come and put in here. And then we've got... We're going to put some blue. We've got some blue. We've got the blue hydrangea down there. These this, roses are kind of a dark, uh, dark pink. Right dark, they're a red, they're but they red. look dark pink. This white Texas blue, we've got some blue Veronica. I would prefer my garden to be all pink, but I think mom likes I like multi-colors, all colors. colors. So, and, and you know, if you don't build the garden in a day, over the next couple of years, she'll keep adding more colors. So right. exactly. let's get started. Okay, so. Mom's already got her spot dug out Started. of the cardboard, and we're gonna dig it out. You may have to give me the scissors. I don't know if I need Want to put osmocote and rose tone or just the rose tone? I think just the rose. That's what I thought. Is that a root it's scraping up? Be careful, Mom. And I would just like to say for all of y'all in the comments who are always telling me how mean I am to not shovel for my poor elderly mother, <laughs> I dare you to come to this house and try to get that shovel away from her. She will hit you with it and before she lets you do it. Yes. Get told in the comments all the time that I should not be letting you do so much work. I know you like to work. I told Will that. Will's my little brother, and he was like, Yeah, good luck with that. Mom's not the type of person to like sit and watch people work. Whoop, whoop. So much for that work. Done. You want me to do this? Yeah. I think there's a big old road in there. Yeah, somewhere. Right there. Get the root cutter. I will. Oh, where are my gloves going? I had them. I've lost. Up on the table on the front door. That's my father. I bottom of a broken beer bottle of some kind so watch out for glass yeah i found glass <laughs> the all right, go ahead and dig. well mom's house is over 100 years old or 100 years old right at 110 115. so when we're digging sometimes we find oh, we have a guy that comes over and does with his like 
metal finder. Metal detector, yeah. You find all kinds of stuff out there. There, that's the root I was trying to get. Yeah, three was in there. Good size. Oh, I think I got it. Well, I used the saw thing to kind of cut around where I thought it was, but I couldn't quite reach it. Yeah, that did. Boop, boop. I thought about hitting two of these roses, one for each side, and then we looked it up and we're like, oh no, we don't need that much rose. Yeah, I think two would be way too much for this little... Too much for this arbor, because you do need to take into consideration how tall and wide the rose grows, but also how heavy it gets. Yeah. So to do two roses on one arbor, I mean, this, we did put this in cement. I didn't show you that part, but I'll put some pictures up on the screen. Yeah. Um, yeah, but mom and, and her, boyfriend. her boyfriend put it in cement. And oh, so boyfriend. it is, you know, it's pretty stable in the ground, but you can see when I'm moving it, like it, the top still moves. That's okay. Cause that means it won't. It won't break off in the wind. You don't want it to be a hundred percent like Super. immobile, immobile, yeah. immobile, immobile, <laughs> or oh, immobile. You don't want it to be immobile, guys. <laughs> you have the same same vocabulary as me. Well, he taught me how to talk. <laughs> we have we have southern talk. You don't want it to be immobile because then it it will it eventually could. snap in the wind. You want to see if that's big enough? And we do get like hurricanes and tornadoes around here. tree behind Betsy so it, it has roots that goes pretty far out I think that's pretty good we we'll did a little it. more than we needed but you do Put want the see. roots to be able to spread out into easy to grow territory I think a little more well, it's hard to see because the bottom is not as flat as our bucket. Yes, I had another root in there. That kind of was part of it, I think. Get this root right here and that one on the right. Should be getting a new puppy just any minute now. It's 11.33. Mom's getting a new puppy. Yes. From Louisiana. The state of my birth. That's pretty cool. I think that'll do it. Now, even though I don't have my gloves on, this rose is almost, almost thornless. thornless. It has yep. teeny tiny, almost non-existent thorns, so not too worried about it. I've, I've picked it up without gloves many times, so. I want it to be this part towards yeah. the, can you help me get the bucket off? Break up the roots or just put it in? I think we can put it in. I think it's worth turning around. Yeah. A little bit more. Oh, yeah. I'm just trying yeah, to like that. that. Yeah, I like that. Oh, rose tone. We put the rose tone in here. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's pick it up. Put it there. There we go. Boom. Yeah, take these off now. 
Yeah, I well, let's get the, the dirt in and steady, and then we'll take them off. And make sure to firm that dirt in really good around those roots so there's no air pockets. And you want to you want to plant it close to the arbor, but not like directly under it because of that concrete. You don't want it. It needs to have enough room to grow. Leave a little bit of a well so that when we water it, the water stays in and waters the roots really well. And we've got this little drippy drip from mom's drip system. I'll leave a link below. We, we did a whole video on how to set up drip in a garden, but we tapped it a special line where this grows and we'll put this right at its roots. And then that waters it twice a day, morning and night, as well as this drip tube on either side is the type that has emitters every 12 inches. Yeah, 12 or 18. Yeah. Whoa! That looks like 12. Well. Yeah, that looks like 12. Well. Do you have the scissors? Can I help? So, you can weave some of those small canes throughout, but a rose like this has one leading cane, which is this one that comes from the base all the way up. And then all of these horizontal canes will come off of that leading cane. And apparently that's pretty normal for a climber to be constructed in that way, as opposed to, um, there's some over here. This one, a knockout rose or a rose bush that produces multiple canes all from the same base. A climbing rose is more of a central leading cane and then the rest. I went up a bunch on climbing roses for my fence, trying to decide if I wanted to put a rose or something else on it. I think we're gonna put an umbrella in this. Is that what you were thinking, Mom? Huh? You said you wanted to put an umbrella in that, but you also said you were gonna get something like, like a top for it, man. Here, cut the knot off of this so I can use it. I'm just gonna pull it apart. You have scissors at your feet, lady. Super woman! I have another one right here. I know. I can get a big one off. So we're just tying it loosely. You don't want to strangle the canes. You don't want to strangle the canes. You just want to guide them. So we're just using the flower tape that we had from this bush. You can get more. I but that's, that's pretty good. And then as it grows, it will start weaving in and out. All these like smaller canes here will start to weave in and out. And then it will hold on on its own. But for now, the this will help guide it where we want it, which is growing up this arbor. But most climbers, if you leave them alone next to a vertical structure for a couple days, they will try to find a way to climb it. So pickle right there. Here's the back information. All right, so we're gonna water it in really good. Even if we do have drip to the area, we still want to water it in. Oh, yeah, but it won't water it 
water till tonight because it won't water till tonight. We want the roots that have just been disturbed to be happy now. And it also helps eliminate air pockets, right? I'm just gonna fill up that well with water and then I'll let it soak in and I'll probably do it a couple more times since it's just been established and it's stressed. The only other thing you can do is if it's like this week, it should be raining all week. That's why we're planting everything now. Um, that rain will really help settle things into their new homes. But if you're, you're planting and it's hot and things are stressed, the other thing you can do is cut them back so that the roots have less to support. You can also take a hose and just set it with a teeny tiny trickle so that it gets constant water. And it will make a huge difference. Yeah. I've done that before. Nana used to do that, didn't she? I mean, yeah, we're in the deep south, so, you know. Yeah. Zone 8B. Hot. I said 9B in one of my videos lately, and everyone was like, where's zone 9B? And I'm like, not oh. here. Sorry. <laughs> we're 8B. We're 8B. Eight eight I don't know why I said that. And I'm just moving this dirt to cover all this. So if mom did a whole no-dig garden over here, which means this is grass, and she's covered it all with cardboard, and the cardboard will suppress the grass and the weeds. And after, this drip's only been hooked up for a couple days. So after a week or two, when we know the drip's not having any problems, all the plants are getting enough water, We'll come in and put topsoil or compost over the whole garden. Bed. Oh, the drip is working. I mean, I came out and watched it last couple nights, and it's good. Last couple what? Nights. You mm -hmm. said not. Not. All right. Well, I'm that's not, it. I don't have a deep southern accent, but I am from the south. She has a southern accent when she's upset or stressed. Or happy. Or happy. It comes out on some happy words, too. But so do I. And I'm not really from the South at all. Nope. I just have a mom that is. So. You've lived in the South. Maybe. I've lived in the South most of my life. I'm an Army brat, so. But so am I. So is mom. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to leave this here. And I will update you on it. Yeah, I will. I, I, we'll update you on it in a couple weeks or a month. I'm not sure. I don't do monthly garden tours at mom's house, but maybe we should start since we're showing you the whole process. Yeah. Um, but we're going to go over to my house now and do my rows. And then we will be able to show you updates of both of them as they grow. And if they differ at all, I want to see how they differ from this one, which will need to go all the way up and over and how long that takes versus mine that needs to grow up and then along the fence. So, um, but mom wanted me to tell you before I leave that this yellow hose down here, I'm not sure if you can see it, indicates the garden bed that she's going to continue to line with bricks. So we're going to have a brick border and the compost. going to be pretty. We just transplanted all the gumprena and the petunias, and we will be planting all her yellow things soon. So you want to watch this garden as it keeps transforming. Stay tuned. She's got big plans. Yep. Apparently I'm involved in them. Bye. Let's go to my house. I said bye. Mom said bye. <laughs> all right, y'all. So I am now down behind my house next to my shed this is a little strange of a place and uh unfortunately the helicopters are just going crazy today but this is my peggy martin rose and as you can see she is already growing quite a bit <laughs> since i put her down here she is hooked into drip but my goal is that i want her to cover and hide this entire fence because while the shed is pretty, while the garden up front is pretty, this, this power line dog area of my house, this is like the worst spot. 
So um, I have heard that she will, she will cover the fence. She will hide this whole area. I am still working on creating this garden bed. So while I've weeded this, the weeds are back. <laughs> I'm putting down cardboard and then I will be putting topsoil down on everything. But for now, we're just gonna plant this baby, get her in the ground, give you a um, before look at how she looks and then we will watch as she grows. So for today, let's just get her in the ground. Goal number one. All right, y'all, the video kind of cut out there at the end, but you can see all I did was start to wind these branches through the fence. And as they grow, I will help them continue to spread out. But the main goal is just to keep them loosely tied where they are tied and not super tight. They will start to grow and climb on their own, but you can see, I don't know if you noticed when I pulled this out of its can, but it has been here for probably a month and it has water run to it. And so it had literally started to root out of the can into the earth. Like this Peggy Martin Rose is just indestructible. It is going to grow despite its conditions. So hopefully in the next couple years, it will spread. It will cover this whole fence. I'm going to go ahead and let some of these front canes grow a little bit more on their own before I try to work them onto the fence. But the main thing with the fence is that when you're working with the long canes, you're not crossing them. They need to spread out on their own. And then the canes that come off of the long canes will eventually start to cross and, and cover the fence. I am really excited to see how this does. I had sweet peas down here before, but it was too much sun for them. And obviously just from this little Peggy Martin Rose sitting here for the last month, it is very happy with its spot. It is literally growing into the ground through its can. So I cannot wait to show you updates. Bye y'all.